All right, Global is releasing in roughly 100 hours or less, which kind of sounds insane to think about. The fact that it's releasing this week actually blows my mind. But with Global releasing, I wanted to go ahead and talk about, especially this, this video is going to be important for free to play. So if you are free to play, then definitely stay tuned and watch the entire thing because it is going to help you a ton when progressing your account. And that is mistakes that I have made. Now, y'all have seen me play, y'all have seen me live stream all three versions of the game, JP, KR, and Canada, and then now Global this coming week. And every time I played, every time I done a stream, I've always made mistakes. I've made mistakes multiple times just because I was always trying to progress through story mode as fast as possible, try to unlock content, try to do PvP. And I would end up wasting not only a ton of currency, but also a lot of stamina and in-game resources that were really, really important day one. So today I'm going to go ahead and kind of talk about them um, and um, go through, you know, see what mistakes that I have made that personally you shouldn't. And if you are paid to win, then obviously it's going to be a different story. But oh, do we get an SSR here? Yo, that'd be crazy. Imagine. Wait, it still could? Okay. So, number one, I think my biggest mistake was obviously story tickets. Now, you know story tickets are not going to be a thing here on the global version, which is great, right? So, automatically, they go ahead and reduces your quote-unquote mistakes that you can make. Now, story tickets, as you didn't, if you didn't know, um, kind of blocked you from playing story mode, right? They were really, really annoying, and you ended up waiting, like, a whole story ticket refresh took, like, two to three hours, which was kind of insane, because for me, streaming, like, I can only do so much, and then if I wanted to do more, then I would end up having to waste, like, 250, 500, 750 crystals, which was an insane amount, and so now that story tickets are not going to be on global, this is going to be a gigantic, gigantic help in just allowing you to not only progress faster, but also save your currency. Next up is summons. I know it is going to be very, very tempting to go ahead and summon for the season one characters because you know you want to make sure you get all of them. And on top of the fact that you also will try to pull other SSRs. Now I will say this, okay? I don't know how the pacing is going to be done on global. I don't know, you know, how long exactly season one is going to be. I don't know when the I'm in a will be releasing. They won't be here day one. We know that for a fact. So most likely they'll be dropping two weeks after the season one banner does leave. And if that's the case, then you kind of want to be careful because, you know, I wouldn't want y'all to waste all your crystals on the Season 1 banner because, yes, while those units are great, they don't necessarily age all too well. I do think that, you know, just getting a copy of each of them is going to be well more than enough, but I don't think it's, like, really, really important for you to go ahead and get some dupes on them to where you unlock their LR plus 2 passive or you try to max dupe them. Um, for free to play especially I just don't think in my opinion these guys are worth it and so with that being said just focus on your reroll if you get yourself a solid reroll and you can, you can you know get two out of three season one units and get the third one for free from your gateway then I think you're absolutely chilling. I think you're in a fantastic spot and honestly that's what all free to play players should try to go for if you want to try to go for other SSRs go ahead and test your luck but do keep in mind that they are going to be at a very very low rate and your chances of pulling them are going to be you know obviously the units in this banner your rates are going to be a little bit higher on season one just because we don't have some of them but still they're going to be at a pretty low rate for you to pull and plus you're also competing against skill pages which can also be pulled and knowing my luck and some of y'all's that might be the case to where you end up pulling skill pages over ssr characters and that's not going to really be helpful for your account especially if you are free to play so I would say just primarily focus on your reroll. Don't summon as much. I kind of made the mistake of doing like 100 summons, and while that may not seem like a lot, over time that does kind of build up, and you're gonna look back and be like, dang, I really should not summon on the season one banner as much. So, with that being said, I don't think you should, in my opinion, just go ham on the banner. If you want to, maybe like, like I said, it's all dependent on your reroll. But after you get your reroll, and you're like, okay, let me let me throw a few multis. Maybe test your luck and see to do like you know maybe one, two, three multis at most to see you know if you're getting lucky. If you are, then yeah, maybe continue summoning until you don't feel like you're lucky. But a lot of the units in this banner, while they're great and everything, the ones that you're primarily focusing on is, in my opinion, because most likely a lot of you are going to get Lotus from your Gateway Destiny or not Gateway, but the reroll summon. You're primarily focusing on Rodas and Mars. These, in my opinion, are the only two, maybe William as well, but these three units are the only units that are not going to be, like, at a featured rate or a guaranteed that's going to be, you know, kind of difficult to pull and you kind of have to get lucky with them, but I will not say go ahead and chase them, okay? I just don't think it's worth it, um, because if you do pity the banner, then you're only going to be pitting a Season 1 character, not these guys. So, with that being said, I don't think it's worth it. Um, and plus, like, the main goal is for you to pull these SR units, which are going to be fantastic grinding. Fantastic units for grinding. PvE, PvP, 
Some of them are just really, really good not to be passed up on. So if you pull them, be happy. They can take some of the places of what these units can do and um, you get them a lot easier too. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next topic and that is going to be the shop. I made this mistake not knowing what this was. I believe on JP or KR, it was one of my accounts that I, I did it on. But a lot of y'all are going to see that there's going to be a shop that allows you to go ahead and exchange for these pieces. Now, on Global, I don't know what character this is going to be, but you do not get the character from here. I want to make that clear. A lot of y'all are going to go ahead and summon on a banner thinking that, okay, cool. If I pull dupes or whatnot, then I can go and exchange it for a character. Like, for example, for, let's just say day one, right? This, instead of Charlotte, it, it ends up being like Mars or Rodis. A lot of y'all might get confused and say, oh cool, I can get Rodis from the shop or Mars or whatever it is, and you might go and exchange it. That is not the case. These are only dupes. You do not get the actual character. So in order for this to be a value, you actually have to have the character at first. So for example, Charlotte, I mean, all, all of us are going to have Charlotte for free because she is going to be given for free on Global. But if Charlotte does end up being in the shop, you get a dupe of her. You don't get like a, you know, a whole extra copy or anything. Or if it's a character that you don't have, you don't get that character. So... I want to make that clear this ticket however on the other hand does give you a guaranteed character it's not a dupe so um for example if you do end up exchanging six ssr shards then you do have a solid chance of what is it you have a 10 percent chance of pulling one of these captains which is not bad but you're not going for jack you're not going for nozelle no real no you know uh, leopold sally you're only going for mars rodis or william in my opinion i mean if you get a dupe of lotus that's really good but Ideally, you do want to get the three characters that I mentioned, but if you're free to play, I do not recommend. I know a lot of people are going to ask me, should I go ahead and exchange for the ticket? My answer is going to be no, just because it's not worth it in my opinion. And still to this day on like all three of my accounts, I've never once exchanged for this ticket. Actually, I lied. I exchanged it once, but I didn't know what this was and I went ahead and did it thinking I could choose a character, um, but it's random. So do not make the mistake I made and um, do not exchange for these. Honestly, this shop isn't really all that worth it if you think about it. Um, I rarely ever buy stuff from this page unless like I'm doing it for like a really really good SR. Now I will say, the only units that are worth in my opinion that are SR units that are going to be in this shop that you might want to exchange for is going to be Finra or Valtos. These two guys, the reason why I say that is because they are the speed units and they are going to play a very very big role in PvP. So if you do want to go ahead and exchange for these guys, that's only Finra and Valtos. Don't do it for like solid soul charm or anything like that. They're just not worth it, but Finra and Valtos, however, in my opinion, are um, because the faster you get them maxed out, then obviously the bigger advantage you're going to have on PvP. So that is something you could do, but everything else, um, kind of self-explanatory. I don't recommend you exchange for the weekly tickets unless you are pay-to-win. This is only a pay-to-win thing, 1,000%. I'm not even sure a lot of us are going to be able to pull 20 SR shards because, I mean, if I'm being honest, that's a lot. Um, but even if you like are working on your SR characters and you see that you're getting dupes for them, do not exchange it for this 10 free tickets. It may seem like, oh wow, you know, I get a free multi from here, but it's 20 SR shards, which ends up being a lot. And you can definitely put that towards either stamina or skip tickets, which I do recommend. So the only thing I really buy for here from the growth shop is just stamina tickets. I don't buy anything else and do not buy these, okay? I know in beta, I kind of made this mistake of buying this, but that was beta, that was like a whole year ago. I do not recommend you buy these, okay? So don't buy it. It may seem very tempting because they are SSR EXP pots, but they truly are not worth it. In my, I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Um, and plus, if Global does end up having the dispatch system, which is only on, available on JP and KR, hopefully we do have it. But if that is the case, then yeah, 1000% do not pick these up and you can easily farm these no problem. Uh, when it comes to the bond box, I don't... This is good later on, okay? Just make sure that your account is situated first. And if that's the case, you do end up pulling dupes, then... Um, if it's dupes for characters that you know you're not going to use 100%, so units like Leopold or Nozelle, then yeah, maybe go ahead and exchange it for these because these are pretty worth it in my opinion. But uh, just make sure that your account is solid first. When it comes to these, do not buy the stamina, okay? I, I know it may seem like a very, very low amount, but I promise you each crystal does stack up and I believe the crystal increase goes up every time you purchase one. So if you do max it out at 5 out of 5, then I believe you're putting in over like potentially 300 crystals, which is an insane amount. So I do not recommend you do that. Um, and then when it comes to stuff like this, I do recommend you buy it. But gold is going to be something that you're not going to have a lot of day one. So just if, don't buy these day one, week one. Uh, just kind of build up your gold because you are going to need your gold for 
working on your units, getting up to UR and LR, and then working on, you know, your gear, substats, and stuff. So I don't recommend you buy this week one. Just try to build your gold first uh, because you can kind of build that up no problem. And then these you can buy. Actually, no, I lied. Do not buy these because these are the memory hall tickets, which you can exchange for, uh, not exchange, but you kind of get lucky with getting these resources. So if you feel like you can't get lucky, then yeah, absolutely go ahead and try to go for it. But um, never, ever, ever would I tell y'all to go ahead and buy these tickets because they do refresh um, every two hours, I believe. So if I go ahead and do ten or six of these, then they should refresh every two hours. So yeah, don't don't ever buy it. I just don't think it's worth it. Um, it's a three-hour refresh. So it's, it's the exact same thing as how story tickets worked. But yeah, that is going to be it. And then when it comes out to the shop, um, if you want to... I don't recommend free to play do this, but if you see that you can maybe get high ranking in PvP day one, then go ahead and exchange this. I most likely will because I just I'm gonna speedrun PvP as fast as possible. But um yeah, this would not be a bad pickup, but I don't recommend you do it every day. Once you get to like a certain high ranking and then you feel content, don't ever buy it again because the whales are gonna out outplay you, I promise you, guaranteed. So um these you can buy. I do recommend you pick up the gear upgrade stones. Don't pick up the lesser one. It's just not worth it. This one is going to be good. And then the gold is something I do buy every day. So yeah, that is going to be exactly that. These I'll talk about in another video. Um, these I will hold off on and wait because it might be a little bit different. But pretty much these are all the mistakes I've made, okay? I know it may not seem like a lot. It's like, okay, it's common sense knowledge. But you would be very, very surprised how many people have made the same mistake that I have. And then just when it comes to, you know, your whole stamina and things like that, make good use of it. So I'll do a whole video talking about how you can be efficient with your stamina and progress faster. So I'll save that. But anyways, that is going to be the end of the video. Primarily, it's just get yourself a solid reroll. Okay, that, that is going to be your main goal. Don't summon as much after you get your reroll. And then when it comes to, you know, the in-game shop and items that you want to buy, don't make those mistakes. You know, kind of be smart about how you go progressing your account and stuff. But... Yeah, that is going to be it, and the mistakes that I've made, it cost me a lot of crystals, but now that we don't have sword tickets, y'all should be honestly pretty fine and in a good spot. So, yeah, I'll end it there. Sub if you're new. Alright, peace.